Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. I have another Stamptember exclusive limited edition to share with you. Tonight we are focusing on Pink Fresh Studio with their Just Start stamp set. This is a beautiful floral stamp set, something Pink Fresh is known for, and I am going to color in my images with some Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers tonight using that black outline, so no real watercolor technique, but we are gonna color the images in with those markers. First though, I do wanna build a quick background to set off my florals. And I decided to go with something kind of different for me. With an orange background, I'm using Crackling Campfire Distress Oxide ink through the tin tile Simon Says Stamp stencil. This is one of my favorites. And then I am going to take a little mica stain in the color Harvest Moon. This is one of Tim's new Halloween colors, and I love these mica stains. They do only come out once a year, if I'm not mistaken, and kind of limited edition. And it's this beautiful yellow, but it kind of dries to this gold, messy background that I absolutely love. So almost like you spilled something on this tin tile floor. I love it. It's shiny. The mica flakes in it are so, so super pretty. There's a peek at the stamp set, and I can't believe I didn't notice this before I started coloring, but the center of my large flower, yeah, I didn't get that stamp so good. Luckily, I left my stamp in my Misty and I was able to place my image back in there and re-stamp it, which you'll see here in a bit. In a bit. I did stamp my image with Versafine Onyx Black Ink and then I'm going to color in with Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. The exact colors are listed in the description below the video here on YouTube. I'm using nice dark purple colors. I have embraced purple. I am no longer saying that I don't like purple um, because it's obvious that that is a lie. Uh, I have embraced the purple. I use it all the time, uh, much to so many of you's delight, I'm sure, because I got a lot of comments on me not liking purple. Uh, but I love these colors. So, so pretty. I'm using three shades per flower petal, really, for this. And all three of my blooms or buds of flowers are going to be in these three colors. They are purplish gray, I'll just tell you real quick, plum gray, and pale violet. That's the three colors I am using for my flower. Now for my leaves, I'm using a couple of green shades, of course. We are gonna be using smoky olive, and then the smoky yellow. A lot of these are newer colors, and by newer, I mean they're at least a year old. <laughs> Nothing um, I'm using is super brand new, just maybe not colors you've seen me use a ton in the past. And then for the little berries, I didn't want to go full on, you know, red or anything. We're going to use deep um, vermilion and pale orange, I believe. Yes just to kind of give some orangey, kind of reddish orange berries, I guess, if you will, that are going to tie in nicely to the background. So for sure, this card, very much influenced by Halloween, even though it's not a Halloween card. I was doing Halloween cards prior to working on this one, and I found myself just reaching for a crackling campfire. It was already out on my desk, and I thought, oh, let's just try that. And then I thought, oh, let's color in the flowers deep, deep dark purple. Um, I'd actually picked up some fun things to use kind of as photo props or, or decor in the Target dollar spot this year that were a lot of deep purple, kind of more of, I don't know what you would call it, gothic Halloween with the skulls and the florals and things. I might be wrong about that. But I picked up some of those things thinking that they would be really cute for photo props. And it's kind of what inspired my card today. And definitely always be on the lookout for things that you can kind of translate into your card making because they're everywhere. And try color combinations that you don't normally gravitate towards. 
This is not one I would have normally done. I probably would have gone for a cracked pistachio background or something like that, an aqua background and pink florals, you know, or red florals. That's just generally how I, what I gravitate towards. And I've been trying to push myself outside of that. I find stamp timber to be a great opportunity to push myself outside of my normal comfort zone. And I hope you guys find that as well. With all the inspiration from so many designers and, and the new products that are released, whether they're for Stamp Timber or part of companies' regular releases, always just be trying to push yourself outside. It's nice to go back to the old reliables. I do that too, things I like. I mean, this tin tile stencil, I've used many times and I'll probably continue to use it because I love it. But I splattered it with mica stain because I had the mica stain um, and I wanted to try it. I colored my flower something I normally wouldn't have. I did an orange background, which normally, again, not my go-to, but I totally love it. So just um, really want to encourage everyone to try something new this week, even if it's something super small. Maybe you don't normally color with water-based markers like Zigs. Use your Zigs, use your Tombos, use your watercolors, um, and, and just try something new. This is not new coloring for me, although I've not used my Zigs a ton lately, so um, it was kind of nice getting them back out again. With my large floral especially, I did try to kind of make sure each flower petal has detail in it. So it's going to have a lot of that back and forth with my brush strokes to kind of give each flower petal a little bit more interest, I guess I would say. And I spent the majority of my time on this card working on the coloring. I will tell you, I did use a foiled Hello from a Pink Fresh Perfect Sentiments set. I did not foil it for this card. I actually have a ton of Pink Fresh elements left over from other projects in my stash that I reached for. I forget about them a lot and I thought, you know, that's, I felt like my card the sentiments in the set are pretty small. It needed something bigger to go with it, at least for me. I like a big and a small sentiment on a card. And so I went to my stash and I just pulled something out that worked. And normally I wouldn't have picked it because the kind of prism-ish moon dust color, I can't even remember what color I foiled it, to be honest. But the color I foiled it, I wouldn't normally have picked to go with this, but when I laid it on the card, it almost has like some metallic-y undertones to it, and I liked it. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have to be a super perfect match to still be a beautiful card. Sometimes those little happy accidents like that can end up being really great ways to finish your designs. So if you've got some little leftover elements, I encourage you also to maybe check those out this week when you're creating a card and see if you can incorporate any of them into your new designs. I've had these for quite some time because as I was thinking about it, I thought, oh, what set do I want to get out? Do I want to die cut a hello? Do I want to, you know, foil a new one or stencil one or whatever it might be? And I thought, you know, you have those little trays filled with goodies. Let's see what we've got in there. And I had to dig in there a little bit to see if I had a lot of Christmas and I was like, no, Christmas isn't going to work. And I ended up finding this and a couple of other ones and I settled on the hello because I liked it the best. Uh, for this card, and I was really, really happily surprised. So here's the little berries, and I do love the little contrast of this, and I also like how they look with the crackling campfire of our background. Really, really pretty. There is another small floral image in this Just Start stamp set, so you get a couple of beautiful options. I did die cut mine with the Brother Scannon cut. I didn't have the coordinating dies. 
So do keep that in mind when you see this, that I did die cut it with a scan and cut to resemble being die cut. Some of the sentiments in this set are take small steps every day, just start, just a note. It won't be easy, but it'll be worth it. Choose joy, you are a gift, and remember why you started. But keep in mind, you could really use this with any sentiment. I did pick you are a gift to use with mine. A lot of these sentiments are not ones I would use on a daily basis. I would use these florals more for birthdays, hello, friendship, thinking of you, sympathy, um, anything like that. Uh, just a lot of these sentiments I don't think I would personally use that often, and one of them I would never use because I don't like the sentiment, <laughs> but that's a whole other story. Um, but I, I love florals because they work for anything. And these are beautiful. Pink Fresh does beautiful florals. So now I have my background, I have my floral that I've die cut, I've got my hello, and I did stamp you are a gift right on the background and I instantly regretted it. I wanted to keep it in here because I wanted to show you guys that sometimes it's a miss, it's not always a hit, and I thought, well, that's an easy enough fix. I did put foam adhesive on the back of my big floral, so I did pop that down. I like it popped up a little bit, uh, I think it raises it off the background just enough. I've got foam adhesive on the back of the hello as well. I'm going to go ahead and pop that down. You might have noticed I did stamp the phrase on a separate piece of paper. I did die cut that with a sentiment label die, and we're just going to cover up the little mistake there on the background. That's so much easier to read, and I like that a lot better. Let's scatter a few pretty pink posh gold metallic little pearls around. And as you can see, I got lots of big ones left, but not as many teeny tiny ones. I say this all the time, but I sure wish there were little containers of just the teeny tiny ones. They're my favorite. Like just the medium and the small, I think, is all I need. And I'm just going to put a few on here, and that is it. That is going to finish up this really beautiful card with the stunning florals from Pink Fresh Studio. I know so many of you have been waiting for the Pink Fresh set. Please remember that the Stamp Timber collaboration sets are limited edition, meaning once they're gone, they're gone. If you like this, I would definitely pick it up right away. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. We would love to have you over there as part of our growing community. Here is another video featuring Pink Fresh Studio products that you might be interested in. This is the video featuring the September 2022 release that just came out. It features lots of great Christmas ideas and I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.